bouncing back. UK economy removed the EU shackles, surges 4.8% and four times faster than France. Britain is bouncing back from the ravages of the pandemic and flexing its muscles with the EU shackles removed, data published today has indicated, with the economy growing four times faster than France and three times faster than Germany, one expert pointed out. The UK economy grew by 4.8% in the second quarter of 2021 as lockdowns lifted, getting people back into pubs, the Office for National Statistics figures showed. The country's gross domestic product, GDP, increased by a further 1% in June, creating five consecutive months of growth. The economy also speeded up from 0.6% growth in May, the ONS said. Lockdown restrictions slowly eased through much of the quarter. Outdoor dining opened again in April, the first month the quarterly data includes, and further restrictions were lifted in May. ONS Deputy National Statistician for Economic Statistics Jonathan Athau said, GDP is still around two percentage points below its pre-pandemic peak. Economists at Pantheon Macroeconomics had expected GDP to grow by 0.6% in June, and 4.7% across the quarter. The news will come as a major boost to Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Chancellor Rishi Sunak, with 75% of Britons now fully jabbed. On Tuesday Johnson tweeted, Our incredible vaccine rollout has now provided protection to three-quarters of UK adults. We should be proud of this huge national achievement. It's vital those who haven't been vaccinated book their jab to protect themselves, their loved ones and allow us to enjoy our freedoms safely. Sam Fuller, Director of Financial Markets Online, commented, The pace of the UK's vaccination programme, which has successfully delivered two COVID jabs into the arms of 75% of the adult population, is an important factor and may explain why UK growth has soared to treble that of Germany and four times that of its European neighbour France. Despite the positive data from the Office for National Statistics, the UK's economy remains like a house of cards, Simon Lister, and if at the financial comparison website, investing, warned. Mr Lister said, though there are clear areas of weakness in the economy, specifically construction, the services sector put in a hard shift during the second quarter. Even then the number came in lower than the Bank of England's forecast. There are without doubt some positives to take away from this data, but the economy remains as delicate as a house of cards. He added, as the economy opened up, and restrictions were relaxed, there was always going to be a spring in output but with the end of furlough looming, and sharply rising inflation, it could prove a dead cat bounce. The two quarters ahead will tell us a lot more about the economy than the previous two quarters, as the furlough stabilizers that have been keeping the economy upright are removed. Lord Moylan has hailed the success of Brexit and pointed to visa-free travel for musicians to 19 EU countries as one of the many positive outcomes. The Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport, DCMS, recently announced that UK musicians will be able to tour in 19 EU countries without a visa. A statement from the DCMS said, We want the UK's fantastic performers and other creative professionals to be able to tour abroad easily. We are now actively engaging with the remaining member states that do not allow visa and permit free touring. The peer said, Brexit was a success from day one, because it returned our democracy to us and allowed us to take back control of our own affairs. It's heartening that an increasing number of EU countries have now reached agreement on allowing British musicians to tour. Also commenting, Sam Fuller, Director of Financial Markets Online, wrote, Large swathes of the UK economy went from zero to hero in the space of just one quarter. The contrast between the lockdown first three months of the year with the second quarter was widely predicted but is no less remarkable for that. He added, Crucially the growth came throughout the quarter, with all three months recording a jump in GDP as pandemic restrictions eased and more sectors of the economy came back online. Most reassuring of all is the preeminent role of British consumers in the recovery.
while the UK government spent vast sums propping up the economy during the darkest days of the pandemic, the second quarter's growth was broad-based and largely demand-led, with real household expenditure jumping an impressive 7.3%.